I'm Hervé Stevener. Uh, I work for the European Space Agency at the European Astronaut Center. I'm in charge of the space world training for the ESA astronauts and I'm also in charge of their training in parabolic flights. Okay, so what we are testing now is a set of uh, carrier, tool carrier or equipment carrier that we could use on the moon, on the lunar surface. Uh, they are called uh, LISA, which means Lunar uh, Equipment Support Assembly or Lunar Evacuation System Assembly, because some of these carriers can also rescue an incapacitated crew member in EVA on the moon surface. And what we, they are developed by ESA at the European Assault Center. And now we are in 2Gs, but pretty soon we'll be in lunar gravity. And when we test with that, is with obstacle on the path of the wheels, or we can maneuver, ma maneuver and what would be the mobility and capabilities to control the equipment while simulating being in the spacesuit and being now in lunar gravity. Because they are carrier that are, will be used on the moon surface, it's very important to figure out how an astronaut would be able to control them and to move them uh, along, uh, and how the disturbances that you can have due to the partial gravity, the astronaut movement itself, or to the uneven terrain where you have obstacles, uh, could, could influence the, the stability of the system. So you see down that we have a bunch of, of, of object simulating moon rocks, uh, we can position them in the configuration we want. We have others uh, over there. And what we do, we put these obstacles all on the pass of, of the wheels. Uh, I'm pulling, pushing the system. I move like an astronaut on the moon, having a suit, so I don't jump too much because the suit is heavy, and I try to have a position which is the one that you would have in, in, a, in a pressurized spacesuit. And I see how the system reacts. Uh, to the perturbations that we, we have put on the floor. A campaign like this in parabolic flight for um, presenting lunar gravity is, is essential. We cannot test it anywhere. We can do it underwater, uh, where we play with the buoyancy to have the equipment and the test subject or the operator uh, uh, waiting when six of, of its weight underwater, but you have the drag of the, of the water, you don't have the same dynamic, and uh, that's what, why we do it here in the plane. We have already flown two of them. We have already identified some things that are good aspects that we would like to keep for the next and recommend for the next prototype. Other stuff that we have already understood that hmm, this is not uh, so nice. And now we have a third one to, to test. And with that, three con different concepts uh, in terms of, of architecture and, and how they are built, uh, advantage, uh, drawbacks, and we improve uh, the requirement for, for, for the next one.